Royals are 0 and 5 on the homestand. They've got Brady Singer today, who's been great the last two years following a loss, and now he's coming off a rough start against the Atlanta Braves. Marcus Simeon, he is homered in three straight games. He is the hot bat right now, and he lines this one to center. Bradley had started back and can't get to it. So Simeon is on with a leadoff single. A man on for Travis Jankowski. Well, he lays off another really close pitch and draws the walk. And right away, the Rangers with a threat. Minute first and second, nobody out for Nathaniel Lowe. Eighth pitch on the way to Lowe. And he hammers that one center field. Bradley will have plenty of room, though. It's underneath it, makes the catch. Simeon tags. He'll head to third. The throw was way offline. It's a long out, but it does advance Marcus to third base. So it brings up El Bombi. He leads the team with 17 RBIs. This one got in on the hands. Heads out to center field. Should be deep enough to pick up his 18th RBI. Simeon tags. He scores. And the Rangers get that first run of the ball game. A sacrifice fly by El Bombi. 1-0. Rangers on top here at Kauffman Stadium. Perez the first out of the first inning. And now Edward Olivares. All right, Olivares asked for time or no. I take that back. He's been assessed to strike. So he was in violation of the pitch timer, had not engaged Perez in time. And so the one strike pitch is lifted out to left field. Jankowski angling oh. back and he reaches up to get it. Oh my. He took a funny route, but the wind blowing out to left field and it took off on him. But it's the speed that makes up for it as Jankowski goes lunging for this baseball almost like he was disappointed himself just a little bit but that's a great play. Now Leody Tavares at the plate he's just two for 16 so far this year. And he hits this ball hard out to right field that one carries Whoa. and gets over the head of Oliveris. Heim scores and with Tavares's speed well he'll slam on the brakes at second for a moment thought about more but he'll take the RBI double. Good looking swing from Tavares and you can see Oliveris as he starts to come in and realizes that ball had more carry on it than he thought. It's misplayed. He turned that into a double. See, here's Simeon. And he shoots this one out to right field. Another tough play. Oliveris with a long run, and he can't get to it. Leoti scores. Simeon with an RBI single. He's two for two. And the Rangers jump out 3-0. Well, the offense continuing to show up. And for Marcus, this time it's that two-seam fastball away. But not trying to do too much, right? Despite the fact that Marcus Simeon is coming off a run in which he's hit a home run in three straight games, we've seen him take that same approach up the middle and to the other way. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Rangers three, Royals nothing. Martin Perez just 19 pitches. Bobby Witt Jr. grounded out to second base in the first inning. The pitch. And Witt Jr. hammers it. Deep left field toward the home. And gone! A missile from Bobby Witt Jr. And the Royals are on the board at the K today. It's a 3-1 game in the bottom of the third inning. How are you going to beat this guy? You're going to watch the two-seamer. Get it elevated, tad inside. The barrel was on time. A no-doubter swung on gone. And we move along to the top half of the fourth here at the Kauffman Stadium. Rangers ahead. 3-1. Ezekiel Durand, the lead it off, hits one sharply on the ground to his left wit. He has it, spins and throws, and takes care of Durand. Another nice play by Bobby Witt Jr. going to his left. Rangers are saying, well, maybe we should try somebody else. One on, one out here in the top of the fourth. Rangers up by two. That brings up Leody Tavares. Out to right center. That one gets down. Base hit for Tavares. He had a double his first time up. He's going for a triple this time. The throw heading to third. Nowhere close. Smith scores from first. And it's a 4-1 to one Rangers lead. That's good to see for Leody too. You mentioned just getting back a few games into coming off the IL and swinging a good bat here after striking out. Excuse me, hitting the double in his first at bat and hitting the ball hard. And now he does it again. More hard exit velocity against Brady Singer, that one at 98 miles an hour. And it brings up the dangerous Marcus Simeon with a runner on third base and only one out. One strike pitch. And this one on the ground, and that one is through. Base hit. Tavera scores easily. Simeon three for three today. And it's now five to one. Three singles and two RBIs for Marcus. He is locked in. And with the infield in, you're trying to poke the ball through, hit it hard somewhere. Marcus did that. It's another run across the board. So the Royals will now have their first opportunity this afternoon with a runner in scoring position. On the corners with two outs now for Matt Duffy. In the one-two pitch, he swings and misses. Strike three. Third strikeout for Perez. So Martin 
doing his thing today. Only one run allowed so far with a big early lead. Hunter Dozier stand in. Maybe he can take advantage of the wind. He struck out looking his first time. He faces the lefty Martin Perez. Oh, come back here and that one sneaks right underneath Perez. But how about that? Semi right behind him makes a good backhand stop and gets Dozier one away. That's a good job all the way around by the Ranger defense. First for Martin Perez not to touch his baseball and then you get the backhand for Marcus Simeon and there's Nathaniel Lowe on the other end with the scoop. Nathaniel was one of the better first basemen in baseball when it came to that. Scooping balls out of the dirt over at first base. Scoop, there it is Dave. Well Martin Perez has allowed one run on five hits through five innings. We go to the bottom of the six. Texas leading five to one trying to complete the sweep against the Royals. He delivers. Pasquantino bashes it back up the middle. A base hit into center field. And Vinny Pasquantino has himself a leadoff single. Now on base for the 14th consecutive game. Second and third, nobody out. Like I said, time for a rally. And Fran Mil Reyes has had two really good swings against Martin Perez. Tied him up enough. Vinny tags. Tavares makes the call, the catch, the throw. And Pasquantino scores on a sacrifice fly, and it's 5-2. Matt Duffy is fouled out and struck out. And Duffy lines it into right center field, so the Royals get two in the inning. Salvi comes around to score, and it is 5-3. And the Rangers have two on with one out for Adolis Garcia. This one hits sharply up the middle, base hit for Garcia. Simeon scores. Low drops anchor at second, and the Rangers had a big insurance run. Garcia with his second RBI of the day, and he makes it 6-3. to three. A run across, but the Rangers right on the verge of blowing this open. And a chance for Ezekiel Duran. Duran lifts this one out to left center. That could be trouble. It's down, base hit. Low is in. Garcia scores. Jonah Heim coming all the way around. It's a bases clearing double for Duran. And this one has opened wide nine to three for a couple of base runners now in the ninth inning and here comes Jonah Heim the 1 0 pitch is hit high and deep to center field Bradley going back still going back to the track he leaps it's gone Jonah Heim carries one out of here through that crosswind a little to the left of dead center where it's 410 feet away third home run this year for Jonah Heim yet another three run home run for Texas the Rangers lead 12 3 Josh Boers is in the pitch now for the Rangers who lead it by nine here 12 to three this just a uh, well, less than a full day after the Rangers uh, pounded the Royals here last night 12 to two Royals down to their final out Michael Massey was a pinch hitter in the sixth inning for Dozier and he flied out to center field there's a swing and a miss strike three and Spores. Makes it look easy in the ninth. A couple of strikeouts in his perfect inning of relief. And the Rangers cruise this afternoon to a 12-3 win. 